Hello and welcome to week seven of the season five of the Southern Nation League. I'm your play-by-play -play analyst Joshua Gonzalez and I'm joined here with Money Mitch and today for game one we have the Goblin sponsored by Zane the Realtor versus the Mako sponsored by Amat Law. This is going to be a good one. And just a couple seconds ago, you said you had who winning? I said I have the Goblins, minus two and a half. Mm, we'll interesting. See. I think it's going to be a close one. Like I said, it's all dependent on Yusuf and if he stays in his own head, if he plays like a real teammate. Right. No, last game, they really oh, had wow. good ball movement. That was a great way to start the game right there. But they had really good ball movement. They had 17 assists total. Yeah. So if they could play like that against the Goblins, I think they could take him down. I think it was a tale of like two halves last week. Like they looked really good for a little bit and then they kind of stumbled a little bit, but then obviously uh, came back there. Big Bird back this week, too. That's a, that's oh, a positive yeah. for the Goblins, right? A good energy guy. Yep. Oh, nice finish. That could be sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Going in there and getting it done. I really I do Chief. like Chief. Ooh. Me too. Yeah, I was say, oh, wow. man. What a Chief. Man, dude, he, <laughs> he puts case, everything dude. into it every <laughs> He's time. He's such a nutcase. He's so good. <laughs> yeah, he gives you 100% every game. Looking for a big game from Juan this week. Oh, wow. Big Bird. What? Oh, oh, good defensive play. Wow. Oh, wow. I guess they're going to call that gonna on call the floor. Is it shooting? Oh, they called it a shooting. It's actually free Palestine. It's not brisky this year. Ah. Uh, hey. <laughs> it is what it is. He's going to... I think in this game, Dean has to have a good shooting I'm game, right? It. Juan yeah. has to play like Juan does, like a number one pick. Needs to get back to what he does. He was averaging what? What's he averaging a game? Do we have that? Who was it? Juan. Juan? Yeah. I don't know what he averages a game, but I know last week. Let's see here. Oh, what a, oh man, what a beautiful oh my God. Oh, that was a beautiful pass. That was honestly a beautiful pass. I want to call it the brick of the day, but I don't want to yet. I know we're going to have way too many of them. So just, I let them, I, yeah, I usually let them miss a few, and then after that, it's like, hey, you're warmed up. You're warmed up now, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tyreek with the ball. Going up, nice. Oh, oh good way foul. to drop. Yeah, that was a great way to get to the basket, though. Wow. Two That's quick ones second. on Yusuf, huh? Yeah. Two minutes into the game, he has two fouls already. Yeah. He's already uh, <laughs> trying to say what didn't foul him, but <laughs> most definitely did. Tyreek at the They had here. a lot of fouls last week as well, 16. They did. I forgot about that. that was a, yeah. yeah. That they, was a really slow game. It really was. I was doing the, the, the clock for that game. I remember stopping it every like couple seconds. Yeah. And Speaking about Yusuf's good shooting percentage, he shot 50% last week. Yeah. See if he can repeat that this week. How many assists did he have last week? Last week he had four. Yeah. I think they all came in the first half, to be honest, dude. He started the game off moving the ball like crazy. Dude, he, he has really good passes. Wow. Look at that. Uh, demonstrated right there. Yeah, really good. 1v1, love him. Great pass from Luke. Pass. Oh, man. X loves that shot. and He gets he, he creates separation on that. He does yeah. that all the time. That's uh, it's a good shot for him. It is. Big Bird? Big Bird alone in the corner. Oh. oh, they really wanted that one to go in. <laughs> I wanted it to go in. That's Same. Crazy. I really okay. wanted it. Yo, Big Bird. That's a matchup they got to take advantage of. X on Big Bird. You really got it. Yeah, that, yeah. Get him moving out of the paint, and the paint opens up there for 1v1 and Yusuf to get in there. This is interesting. Chief has really good one-on-one -on -one defense. Oh, oh man, pass. that pass. He's double team. Big Bird with the steal. Here comes Tyreek down the court. Goes all the way. Wow. That's the sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. It's hard to stop him when he gets moving. Whenever he gets downhill like that, yeah, you might want to get out of the way, to be honest with you. I would not step in front of that. Oh, no. Heck, you no. might end up on a poster. That's how you end up getting a foul. Oh, there goes X pulling from the three-point line. Can't hit. That's a good shot, though. I mean, it is. I like X shooting that. He's trying to warm up. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to warm up. He's probably trying to work off uh, his hangover, too. He might have a hangover. I'm not sure. But. What's, what's with it? everyone calling them out on their hangovers? Here comes Dean with a three-point shot and wow, hits it. Dean for three. Dean's been playing well this season as well. Yeah, he's been put into work, man. He's been working real hard. And, uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he got over that, that early injury when he stepped on a thorn earlier this season. Good passage. Corner. Oh, wow. Another good X shot, can't man. hit. X is wide open on those two, and you want him taking those, but he has to knock one down. Tyreek all alone passes it to Juan. He can't hit. Sorry, right. I think that's the first time he shot it. Yeah, it is. Comes Yusuf with the ball. Always elusive. 
Good pass to Shot Dog. Can't hit. That was a little bit far. That was. Once again, though, Shot Dog, when he gets his feet set and he scored up to the hoop, yeah. high percentage shooter. He's a good shooter. He really is. Tyreek goes up. Ah, oh, can't hit. Big Bird with the rebound. Big Bird Big doubling Bird. up on the rebound. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a slip and fall. Oh, brought to you is. by a Mott Law. <laughs> Dean for three. No Dean good. can't hit. Oh, brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Here comes Yusuf. Oh man. He's so good at like extending that play to get the foul. He slows it down. Right. He yeah. does that little slow step, which not many people can do and control no. their body like he can. Yeah, it looks like he's moving in slow motion. He yeah. does it like in a split That's second. That's what makes him a really good player though, is he can get that contact from slowing himself down. Oh yeah. And he usually hits both free throws. Brandon Steed into the game. Love his game. Brandon Steed, yeah. yeah. Love his game. Yeah, he's really good. They're going, looks like a smaller lineup here. Uh, Big Bird out of the game now. They're, they're probably really, going to try to pick up the pace and yeah, they're gonna try to match to. it with some speed. I do like the Chief and Brandon Steed uh, duo up here. Mm -hmm. It just it picks up the pace on everybody. Everyone's got to start moving now because yep. they move. You know, speed kills. The Chief does a great job of telling people where to Ooh, go. Oh, wow. Great crossover. Oh, I can't yeah. get that finish. That would have been great. Uh, called a foul on someone there. Foul on one. I say you get the ball in Tyreek, Tyreek's hands. Let him score a little bit. Yeah. Get him hot. Let them focus their defense around him, and then it might open up a few more players on their team. Let's make something happen. He's one v one guy. Game now too. Didn't even see that. Ooh, he had a great game last game as well. Yeah. Here comes Chief. Chief's someone you want on your team. Like he, he just looks to make the right play always. Right. That's Dean why they go three. with three. Another wow. three from Dean. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's his corner. Dean can shoot, man. Don't let Dean get hot because he yeah, can no, start. He, can, yeah, he can knock him down quick, too. Oh, yeah. Great shooter. And sometimes he can do it back to back to back, and it yeah, really puts sure. you in a, in a hard situation. Juan with the steal. He's trying to see the right play, but that was smart. Just take it up yourself and let you know extend the play. So am I getting open? Oh, Ooh, oh who's that, who's that out on? I, <laughs> Dean's, uh, Dean's back, and then it went off of QD's, oh, yeah. but it did not, unfortunately. <laughs> Here comes one of my favorite players, man. Dre. Dre. Dude. He's always dangerous. I was calling him last game. I was calling him Dangerous Dre. He, do, he is, man. It's, it's crazy. He's really good at the bench. He accepts his role. Whenever he's in there, man, he he can play. That's a good shot. Can't hit. That's the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane the Realtor. Oh, oh wow. good spin move by Yusuf. He's so fast with it. 1v1 guy looking to pass the ball. I like how so unselfish the Makos are playing. Yeah. Okay, X. X wow. puts it back in. Oh, yeah, they're playing with a lot of tenacity. They are, yeah. This is a, so far off to a great great start here. Good pace. Oh, yeah. Brandon Steed with the ball. Which one's which? There's Brandon Steed for three. Oh, knocks it down. Goblins are up. Goblins are up. There's Brandon Steed again. Like I said, you know, he, he's just a good player. 14-9. Goblins are up. Yusuf. Oh, wow. oh, great pass out of there, pass. man. That's a system of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. That was really Oh, my good. goodness. Yeah. It's crazy. He extends the place. It's, it's, yeah. Like, it, I, he slows it down and then passes right out of it. It's crazy. Dre, Dre, Dre three. from the three-point line. Good shot. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't want to You don't want to give him wide open shot, no, though. No, Usually, no, he'll no, knock no, those no. down. Yeah, for sure. Tyreek. Get out of the way. Oh, oh, goes up and under and gets the foul. Got a foul. <laughs> He's so acrobatic, it's crazy. Yep, you got there comes another great legend, Zane Burns. Zane, into the game. Zaddy, we love man. we love Zane. Hell yeah. It's funny. I gotta commentate with you, man. Where, where has he been, bro? I'm yeah. trying to commentate with him. It's funny. This is the first one. Here comes Zane into the game. Who's he getting? Looks like he got oh he got Chief out of the game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this turns uh this turns the offense mostly into Juan and Steed. Right. Steed's gonna dictate the floor, he's gonna be a little little mini chief, a little backup mm -hmm. chief, right? Um but a lot of good scores in this lineup right here. Zane can get going too. Zane a lot of people troll Zane sometimes, but he <laughs> may, if he gets going, yeah. watch out. 
It's a big if, though. If he gets going, though, it's crazy. For sure. He's like that energy guy, too. They were saying on the podcast, if you guys don't watch it, don't miss it. It's on Wednesdays around, what, 8.30? Well, we no, really don't know, yeah, what don't know what time, but, time yeah, it's, on, it's, it's at Wednesday <laughs> nights. On Wednesday nights. Um, but, yeah, they were talking about that, that, you know, everyone and everyone's energy level last week on the Goblins was low. Yes. And it was kind of lethargic, the way they are moving, but they said that Zane always, always brings energy, so... It's a good guy to have on your team. Oh, for sure. One oh, one. the makeup's all making him struggle right there. Yeah, oh, good defense for Juan. Uh-oh. Man. Not someone you want to leave open. Oh, yeah. Shot Dog knocks it down. Unfortunately, if you're the Goblins, See, you have to they stay have stuck to, to him. They have to keep it composed on the Goblin yeah. sideline, though. Let your, let your guy work, you know? Oh! Man, it looked like he had an acrobat on Madden or something. He came out out of nowhere trying to steal that ball. That's a slip and fall brought to you by Mott Long. Oh I, my I would goodness. call it a jump and fall. He that dive, yeah. <laughs> that was that, the dive and fall of the day, yeah. sponsored by Yusuf. <laughs> but yeah, you saw Juan was playing really good defense, and then he, it looked like he communicated to the corner yeah. and lost focus, and that's how they scored there. Someone was talking to him, and he definitely just lost focus there, yeah. but someone was wide open in the corner. That wasn't his fault. Dre almost knocks it down. Oh! That's going to stay. Green yeah, that's staying green ball. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you just can't leave shot dock open. Like, look, let's just be honest. Like, if that dude's wide open, he's pulling the trigger. And, and even right there, he wasn't really that wide open. They started to close out on him, and he yeah. just knocks him down. But he's yeah, dangerous. He gets the shot off so quick. It's, it's I mean, like he's wide open, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a pass by you. Oh, shot. man, what a pass. Oh, call foul. That's such a good pass. Yusuf, Yusuf is telling him trust him, but he, you know, and and I 100 oh, no, percent agree with it. He's making really good, you know, play calling. Oh yeah, for sure. He's making really good passes now, and that's what we said that he needed to do. Yeah, he needed to be more of a playmaker as well as just you know score. Because we know he can score. We don't oh, need yeah. to. Know, we don't need to see him score. We know he, he's capable of scoring 30 a game. If he and, wants now, to, and, but. and now we know he's capable of passing. Yeah, yeah and yeah, he does like sure. these crazy flashy passes that it, and like it throws the other defenses off. It's crazy. If he stays locked in, man. He's, he's a great player, but he has to stay locked in. He's mm -hmm. his own worst enemy. You know, I, I, yeah. I saw it a couple seasons ago whenever he played with us on the Wolf Pack and. Yeah. We won a championship, and he – look at that. A nice steal by Look at that. Oh. The, oh, my God. Uh oh they're fighting for the ball. Tyreek yeah, comes see, down with it. That's one thing he can't do. Like, he, he was probably going to get the foul call if he would just went up with it. Yeah. How about that rebound by Tyreek yeah. on two Mako's players? He seems he seems a little bit on the scoring side, but make no mistake, that man is strong. <laughs> make no mistake at all. This is uh, – yeah. I do love Darius, too. Darius, another person on the Mako's, if he gets going, that's mm. another scorer you got. He is. Really good. Dre for three again. Dre for three. Knocked and down. he hits it. Yep. Wide I'm open, telling man. you, dangerous Dre. Dangerous Dre. Good. Is it a tie ball game or is it? That scoreboard's a little slow. That's why I was wondering. Uh, it is tie game, yeah. Oh, there's Darius. Darius. Like you said, he's not scared to take it up. Oh, I don't know. No. Sometimes you need a player like that. Oh, yeah, there goes sure. 1v1 God. Nice pass. Looking to facilitate the ball a little bit. Darius takes a three and hits it. Two. Oh, two. that's a two. Four okay, one. I didn't see. That, was, <laughs> that was a two, but still, good shot. Yeah, no, that was really good, yeah. And that's what he, that's what he does, right? There's Dean beans. from the other corner can't hit. Uh-oh. Here comes Yusuf. Slow it down step. as always. That, uh, that's that, that one didn't go in. Any regular person, they don't get that shot off. That's, no. There's like a few people in this league that can get that off, and that's Dude, like... There was like, there was like four defenders in the paint. I'm surprised yeah. he even got in there. Oh, good pass by Dean, and he gets it. That's assist of the day, brought to you by We Buy Houses. That was a great pass. Yeah, it was, for sure. And uh, that, man, that's where the goblins are at their best, right? When they pass, yeah. yeah. Whenever they pass, and they get everyone involved. Looks like Juan's coming back into the game here. And it's the same thing with the Makos. Once they get everybody's hands touching the ball, it seems to go in. There you go. Dean doing the best he can. Uh, oh, foul, there yeah, it is. Sure. Nice. That was on eight. Nice. Can I say that I think Pat's doing a really good job at refing so far. He's getting his redemption shot, and I think he's doing okay. I think he's doing a good job, too. This what, were they, is, uh, what, were they, what were they talking about? What were they saying? Well, I don't know. People just complain at Pat because, you know, they said he made a couple bad calls or didn't make any calls, and <laughs> I think he's so nervous this week that his, uh, his pants shrunk, and his pants are now <laughs> two inches too short for him. He's wearing, he's wearing my pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> nice socks. <laughs> Did he make the first one? I didn't even see that. Did anyone put up the bat signal? He's in the game. Batman is in the game. Oh, yeah. Good energy. So good guy as well. I love Foddy, man. Can I just say, Foddy is like one of the few people that like, 
he'll play. <laughs> and sometimes he'll complain about his playing time, but then sometimes he'll just like, he's a good team player. You know what I mean? Like he right. knows whenever he, he screws up and he needs to come out of the game. Like he's just a good guy. Yeah, he understands. Probably my favorite, my favorite part of the FOD squad. Do you know who the FOD squad is? No. Oh, okay. Who's the FOD squad? Oh. <laughs> Well, the FOD squad, the legend. Oh, oh wow. Three. Nice three, three from Brandon Steve. Oh. The, the FOD squad consists of uh, Foddy, uh, Kyson, AB, who isn't here. AB's here sometimes. You'll see it. Um, it's just a. It, 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 we basically make the joke they show up in the, the mystery van every week and they come to Lakeside because you never know what they do or who they are. They just show up. Everyone loves It sounds the like a vigilante squad, yeah. group. Oh, my goodness. Brandon Steve. Making his presence known in this game. See, he could hit threes. He could take it in. He's just a well-rounded player. I'm a big fan of Brandon Steed. Oh, yeah, with the pod squad, man. You get that. Well, that, that that's a podcast <laughs> chat. Someone needs to have that on the podcast. Oh, that'd be crazy. Can you imagine if they invited the pod the squad on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, the whole pod squad. Hop out like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. Yeah, <laughs> we do a whole intro of them hopping out. That's basically, yeah, that's... Trust that's me, that's Ant's dream down there. Ant would love that. <laughs> oh, good rebound. The Makos come up with it. Oh, man, he's so strong. Oh, wow, what a pass. Oh, yeah. Over to oh, Darius, he's wide open. Good ball movement. Here comes 1v1 God. Oh, that's that's his all day. That's, that's a sweet easy. finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Yeah, it's too easy. Oh, nice pass to Dre. That's the assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses from the other side of the court. Wow. wow. That was a very quick uh, two possessions, yeah? This is a very high-paced game. 1v1 for three. Oh, 1v1. I like that shot. I don't know why, but I like it. Batman's rolling out. Oh, Batman knows his roll. Oh, doesn't get the foul. That was With the guy. green neon yeah. shoes and everything. Here comes 1v1 God. Wow. And he hits it. That's a really good move. <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of Batman shoes. Also, bro. don't think that was. I think Batman initiated that contact. I don't really I think, think yeah, that. Yeah, that, yeah, that was crazy. That's the foul you're not going to get. Unfortunately, like I appreciate the effort, but like they're not going to call that. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, good pass. And he wow. hits it. Oh, my goodness, man. The passing from the Makos has improved a lot during uh, yeah. the season. This is a great pace first half here. No one has called a timeout. They're no. just playing. No, they're a really good game so far, though, right? you're, you're absolutely right. I don't think there's been any timeouts just yet. Running clock the whole time. Not almost two minutes this, left in the this, first half. I think they're starting to understand this is going to be a back and forth game. Yeah. Go ahead and just let them play, you know? That's his first and fifth. What's up, Derek? Wow. <laughs> this is a great game. This is, yeah. I like this. Here comes the man of the hour, Slim Delirium in the oh. house, baby. There he is. How you doing? <laughs> One gets the first. Goblins, minus two and a half. 26-28, the Makers are up. Just a couple of minutes ago, the Goblins were up at, at some point. Yeah, so it is right now. Makos are up by two, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I feel like there's going to be a lot of lead changes. Yeah, it's going to be a back and forth game. That's why I said two and a half in favor of the Goblins. I just think... That's a really good call. I just think longevity-wise, like throughout the game, the Makos are going to have a lull. There's going to be a five-minute lull where they get outscored 7-0 or 8-0. Yeah. And then there you go. Goblins are back in the game, right? You just have to you have to wait it out because right. something's gonna happen that's gonna make someone Oof. mad and they're just gonna start taking over. Oh, oh my god! And he drops him. Wow. That's a that's a one hop oh too many. Brought to you by one and hop. Darius for three. three. Oh! And that's also a slip and fall. G brought to you by Mont Law. Oh my goodness! Wow. Zane for three. That's oh, good. Oh, and he gets it. Answers right back. That's what you were saying. If you get Zane the real, or you know Zaddy to get involved in the game, he could be a threat. Use of the bad shot. Oh man, that's what they need more of. They need to force you to take those kind of shots, right? Yeah, those you, risky you really, shots. You really just man. want to get into his head. Yeah. You want to force him into bad shots and make him be hard on him on defense mm -hmm. and force him into those things because he wants to do it. Good pass, Yusuf. Dude, I like Chief on Yusuf, bro. So this is I. the only oh guy who's giving him trouble. Oh, oh, good wow. pass. Ah. Oh. Dude, Chief is, dude, his defense is insane. Dude, Chief is good. That's what I mean. Chief let is me, a guy you want on something. your team. Yeah. And, and, look, Yusuf, in the league, he has really good, really good handling. Oh, for sure. Chief is making it look easy right now. That's the second time I think he rips it from him. 
Oh, wow. That was really wasn't oh, a good wow. pass. That's not where you want to give Big no. Bird the ball. Let's be no, honest. Big Bird does not need to have the ball in his hands to be a facilitator. He just Darius. out there for energy. Darius hits the three. Oh, and he hits it. Oh, my goodness. That's a two. two. Let's not get this car. I'm yeah, still getting that's excited. That's I don't care. Crazy. I told you, Darius comes off this bench, and he is just a He's automatic a cool guy, firecracker, man. <laughs> One for automatic three. firecracker. I like that. Oh, that's not. That's, 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 that's a deep shot. It is. And now you run the, the risk of Darius hitting another three. Exactly. Oh, on Zane. Or two. Yeah, Darius likes his matchup. That's a foul. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was the only way they were going to stop him. That was on Big Bird, yeah. Yeah, he, he passed by Zane easily, and that was going to be an yeah. easy take. I mean, he just a, he's a big body, man. Like, he knows how to use his body. He knows his limits. And he's quick. He's good, man. He's quick, too. We got to fix it. We got to fix the score at half. Makes the first. Yeah. Puts him up by four. Let's see if you can make this a five point game. Misses the second. Pass the Chief. Here comes Chief. Yep. We love Chief. Chief on shot talk. One in the oh, corner. that was a great pass. And a three assist of the day brought to you by We Buy Houses. That was awesome. 14 <laughs> seconds. 32, 34. Who do you think is taking this last shot? Uh, I think it's. I think. I honestly think it's gonna be uh, oh, oh. Darius. Yep. Oh, oh my God! Here. Wide open. Oh, oh can't hit short. it. Wow, that would have been a huge spark guys, the first that, half. Yeah, that momentum would have been amazing heading at, heading into the second half. This is Zane the Realtor. I'm your go-to guy for all things Central Florida here to make your Florida living dreams into realities. I'm all over the place. I'm going up north towards Ocala. I'm going west towards Lakeland and Tampa Bay. I check out homes out east towards Melbourne, Palm Bay. I'm checking out all the most beautiful homes and the best deals here in the Central Florida area. So if you're looking for a home, you know who to call. Zane the Realtor. I get buckets in the housing market and I get buckets on the basketball court. Please reach out to me. My information all over the screen here. Check me out on social media at Zane the Realtor. Let's go Goblins. This is attorney Rochelle Amott with Amott Law. I'm a Florida personal injury attorney specializing in auto accidents and slip and falls. I have years of experience recovering millions for my clients at one of the nation's top law firms. If you or a loved one find yourself in this unfortunate situation, make sure to call us today. It would be our honor to represent you. We're super excited to be part of Selling Nation this season. Let's go Makos. All right, we're at the half here. It's 34-32 Makos as a battle of two, four, that. and two I'm teams. I'm so happy that you're here One right of now. My Andre Burke, what are your thoughts on the game so far? I just got in. Didn't see much. I know Batman is balling out. Sorry. Thank you, Axe. Appreciate that. All right, Axel, so it's been a pretty heated affair thus far. Neither team has called a timeout probably the first time ever in Sully Nation history. Uh, no defense on either side. No transition defense from these guys. Might come down to who gets a stop to win this game. Darius Gibson going crazy. Let's go over and see what the Makos are talking about in the huddle. Yeah, you just got to play that position. You I don't know do if it. you guys aren't hearing me on when I'm on the bench, but I'm saying every time, I don't care who your man is. On transition. Let's get Darius Gibson. Just Darius Gibson. Come here. Great first half, buddy. Uh, what are you seeing out there that you've been so successful? Just a lot of open shots. My teammates are passing the ball well. And we're just being patient on offense, really. Yeah, you guys are getting real good half-court offense. For some reason, they've just been leaving you open, and you've been hitting. So great first half, man. Great job. All right, let's go see what the Goblins are doing really quick. we got a couple seconds here. Hey, Dean. Dean. Dean, come on over. All right, buddy. So you guys have four timeouts. I think your strategy is not to call one at all. How do you think that's going to work out for you? We're, we're just using our subs. So they right. don't roll over, and you don't get extra. It's not like rollover minutes I, back I, in the I day. I with the team. I said, should I call a timeout? They said, no, let them play. So I'm trusting my Just team. Just because you ask your team doesn't mean they know best. No, of course. This is my team, bro. I trust everybody on this team. Big Bird, so come here. So between the two of you, between hookers, cocaine, strip clubs, you've no been comment. out. You've been MIA. Big Bird can't comment on it. What do, you th what do you think for the next half? What's Cut your prediction? <laughs> Cut that out. Uh, we just got to keep playing hard, keep moving the ball like we've been doing, keep the energy up. I think we can win this game as long as we do that. I'm glad you think you can win. Of course <laughs> I can. Yeah, man. Don't, don't settle yeah. for these yeah. questions right here. Come on, man. He called timeout. He called timeout. Okay, we'll see you. We'll see you on the break. <laughs> We're back with game one against the Goblins, sponsored by Zane the Realtor and the Mako, sponsored by Armand Law. It's been a close game. Mako's up by one point. 
Yeah, I mean, hey. I mean, <laughs> it's as close as say. it gets, no timeouts in the first. That might have been the record for the fastest half in Sully Nation history. No timeouts, <laughs> no really any stoppages. No. We probably just jinxed it. This is probably going to be like a 45 minute half. Oh, man. Yeah, um, it's Goblin's Ball. ball. Goblin's ball. ball. Alright, here we go. We're good. Goblin's Ball. We got all the starters back out in the court, it looks like. You know, I feel like they... With the exception of Chiefs. Did Chiefs start? No, yeah, you did. Okay. Here comes yeah, Dean. Yeah, Dean for did. three. Dean for three. Deep. That's it. Dean wow. hits it. Oh, my goodness. Dean having a big game. Yeah, Dean's going crazy, man. That shot, like the one he took in the corner where he missed, it looked a little flat, looked like he rushed it. That one, he knew yeah, he was shooting that thing the second that, that ball came down the court. Yeah, he had full extension. Here is Yusuf down the baseline. Oh, oh, dude, Chief is just locking him down, but he goes up anyways. Good defense by Chief. It's back in the Mako's hands. 1v1 has it. Oh, Turnover. good defense by the Goblins. Pass to Zane all the way. Oh, man. That's the assist hey. of the day. Brought to you by We Buy hey. Houses. Here we go. Remember I told you the five-minute burst? Oh, yeah. I think we're seeing the beginning of it. I was just telling you that, too. I think the Goblins just close it out, man. That's the, the, they really did for really deep. Good. Ooh, no that good. is a deep. Tyreek the They're going to start taking back Ooh, shots here. Oh, oh, off of Big Bird. Oh, off of Big Bird. <laughs> High IQ play. That was. Get him there. Get him there. There's Zane the Realtor. <laughs> or Zaddy, as they call him. Yeah, I, I don't know what to call him anymore, honestly. Um, I just call him Zane. A lot of people don't like calling him Zaddy. There's a turnover. Hey, I don't mind it at this point. I've already said that name quite a few times. So Here we go. I'll embrace it. Hey, listen, man. 5-0 run already. We're two minutes ahead. Oh, good steal oh, by Yusuf. Good steal. Yusuf, nice Euro There's step. Yusuf the Euro. Sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Here comes Chief with the ball. Good pass to Dean. Dean taking it in. Dean having a big first. Oh my oh, god. Man. Big Good rebound, rebound by Big Bird. Big Bird. Oh, he can't hit it. He has, no I, he's going up too hard. I think yeah. if he goes up, just. I don't think Big Bird knows that. I'll be honest with no, you. I think Big Bird no. just plays yeah, his game. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's Zach in the short corner. For 1v1, 1v1, 1v1. draws the foul. Oh. Yep. The contact. That was good. That was good. That was a good job by 1v1, seeing that he had yeah. the contact to go up with it. No, for sure. Yeah. 1v1, man. Slow the game down. It's pretty special to have Yusuf and 1v1 on the same team. They both slow the game down, and they're both really good scorers and passers. Oh, there's oh, wow. good play. Can't let Shot Thought get in the paint like that. I mean, he doesn't want to shoot in the paint. Let's be honest. <laughs> But yeah, he was a big, he was a bigger man in the paint right there. I think that's why they just went ahead and went with that. Here comes Juan on Luke. You gotta take advantage of this matchup here. Oh yeah, Juan taking it in, gets triple teamed. Oh, good defense by the Makos, denying him the lane. I, on that, Juan just needs to, he, he needs to get out of there. There should be no screen set. Why are we switching? Because whenever that screen happens, they're gonna switch. You have a bigger man on him. Juan right. just needs to tell him to get out of there and just go to the paint himself. Exactly. I or, love, I love Luke, but Juan's probably taking Luke to the hole about nine times out of ten. Yusuf. Oh man, good defense by dog. the Goblins, but they leave Shot Dog wide open and they get lucky that time. Yeah, it's just one person you can't leave open, man. He'll, he'll knock those down. Uh, oh man, another steal by Shot Dog. He's playing good defense and they get the foul. Foul's on Big Bird, yeah. Looks like Dre's getting ready to check back in the game. Dre, who are you getting? Getting Bird out of the game. Probably a good call. Goblins had their best Oof. stretch, never driven in there in the first half. It looks half. like he made some hard contact on the floor with his elbow. It's Yusuf. He's being dramatic, probably. He's probably okay. <laughs> Most likely, he's okay. So many dramatic people, man. There's just so many freaking... <laughs> I'm not even going to say. There's so many dramatic people in this league, man. Good shot. First one made by Yusuf. Steve back in the game for Chief. Looks like maybe they're trying to go smaller, maybe run a little bit. I I, I don't I don't know. So, uh, like a smaller I, yeah, rotation. Yeah, I, I think I don't know. You submitted the second. Tyreek with the rebound here. Yeah, sometimes it looks like they'll like as soon as they start to slow down, they'll start to sub in some people just to pick up the speed a little bit. And, you know, create a faster pace. Oh, here comes Juan. Oh, gets the foul himself. Man, dude, with all this scoring, it's still a one point game. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man. His <laughs> make goes up. Am I right? Is it Makos or Goblins? Up? Goblin. Oh, no, it's the uh, Makos had the lead. Okay, yeah, okay. Steve, I love that shot for Steve. You got to take that. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, 
It's almost a guarantee there from Steve. That little mid-range shot, he loves that. It's a nice mid-range. Comes X. Ooh, nice ball handling right there. Luke. Pass it to Yusuf. Here comes Yusuf with all that speed. Ooh, stopped on a dime. Step back. Can't hit. Got to get the rebound, man. Oh, they're you're fighting for it. You can't give them second chance. Oh, good scramble for the ball. Wow. Volleyballs, it spikes it back down to his teammate. And the rest are talking it over. It looks like they push Yusuf out. Yeah. Is what he's complaining about. <laughs> right, make a ball. Yeah, if, if you're the ball, Goblins, yeah. you have to grab the board and you have to run. If you give them second chances, they're almost going to make them yeah, every time. Man, yeah, yeah that's, that, that second opportunity, you can't give them. That's, I mean, that's two opportunities to score, and they have a lot of scores on the court right now. So. And last game, they actually did good on the rebound numbers going yeah. up against the Reapers, but it was because, you know, the Reapers oh, are a lot there. smaller lineup. Here we go. Oh, here comes Brandon Steed. What a move. And he goes up with it. That's a sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. He could have bailed out for the three, but he said, no, I'm going to take it up. Yeah. I love that. I love that for Brandon Steed. I mean, like I said, great player. I guess you call him a backup point guard, but he mean, really could be starting on any other team. Thank you. He really could be. Wow. Oh! He's easy with the and one. Good layup by Q. You can't let him get in front of you. And it was crazy because one v one God, Yusuf, X, and Q really did pick up the playmaking last game. And as you can see him here, they're just, you know, strengthening that, that uh, tool. And Chief just said exactly what I said to Dre. You gotta get in front of him there. You cannot let him get position underneath mm -hmm. the hoop like that. That's an easy layup for him that's off the backboard. You gotta be oh, yeah. you gotta get in front of him, at least deny him the ball. Oh yeah. He's a big body, man. He's a big body, and it's gonna be hard to Not defend many people that. are gonna stop that. Yeah. Steve oh, with the mid-range jumper. Mid -range. Yeah, and, and he hits it! He's hot from the mid-range yeah. shot. I, I just don't get it. So like if you're the Makos, you're not picking him up in the mid-range. The guy is shooting. I don't even know he's shooting in the mid-range this year. We don't have those types of analytics, but it, I'm telling you it's hot. Oh yeah, it's hot. And it's a lost art as well. Oh, for sure. And once you get someone going from the mid-range shot, they get high. It's hard to stop. Yeah. It really is. No, for sure. Oh, That's good X. play by X. Short corner, X. Oh, X. makes another mid-range of his own. X loves that shot, too. Oh, yeah. Here comes Dangerous Dre. QDZ. Yep. Heavyweight matchup. I love it. Makes a nice pass to Juan. Juan takes the easy. lane. Way scores. Oh yeah, there goes the energy coming off the there bench comes, of the yeah. Goblins. A lot of the vocal leaders, they have a really they have a really good team. They do. As in like really good teammates. Oh, oh, oh. oh. they're that calling that a travel. That was one a one hop, hop too many. many. <laughs> Brought to you by one hop to shop. And we'll call that a funky looking move. It was. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the first time out of the game. We're a little over 30 minutes into this game. Or no, I'm sorry, I'm bad at math. About 28 minutes into the game. All right, yep, we're going to go to the sideline report with Ant. All right, Axel, it took us to the 12-20 mark to finally get a timeout. That's got to be a selly record. Goblins up 45-42. They've done a much better job this half moving the ball, getting to their spots. The Mako's tra transition defense and lack of half-court defense starting to bite them on the ass a little bit. We'll see what happens here. Uh, make those adjustments. Looks like they probably want to get back, maybe communicating who they're picking up. Brandon Steed's getting a lot of easy penetration. They've had Dean open a lot in the corner. Uh, the, the Goblins have done a much better job of grabbing offensive boards, so it's going to be interesting to see if the Magos can adjust. This is a big game for them. If they want any chance of the one seed, they basically have to win and keep pace with La Familia. The Goblins are a little bit better of a position because they own all their tiebreakers, but a win would still be great here, so we'll see what happens. All right, it is a close one, but just like you said, the Goblins with a three-point lead. But there's still a lot of time left in the game. Yeah. 12:20. First time out in the game. Can we say that? First time out in the game. 28 yeah. minutes into the game. I love this pace. If it, every game with this pace, I love it. Yeah, it's be such incredible. a fast We'd be out of here by 1:30. <laughs> and it's great for commentating. Oh, 100%. Really Keeps is. the flow going. It does. Here comes Juan. Juan with a wow. mid-range wow. shot. Oh my goodness, that's a difficult shot. I'm sorry. That, <laughs> that is a difficult is right. shot. All right, five-point lead here. Oh, good, good pass to X. X. X to Yusuf. Oh, step back three from the corner. Bang! Wow. Yusuf.
Joseph with three. Oh my goodness. As he comes by, they said they gotta give him the ball. <laughs> that could be your best option or your worst option. Hey, it could, sometimes it could keep you in the game. Here comes Juan with a three of his own, and he hits it. He responds with a three of his own. That's a sweet finish of the day, brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. What are the chances Yusuf takes this three here? Oh, Slim, extra three. X. So oh, good. I was about to say, it's about to be a three-point oh. battle out here. Gotta grab a rebound. Q can't Gotta hit, but X is there to clean it up. Three chances they had there off yeah. of offensive boards. Oh, yeah. I'm you have you. to box out and grab a rebound. Their rebound game is great. Oh, he tips it. Dean. Dean finds Tyreek. Oh, my God. He's Tyreek open. to Juan. Juan, is he hot? He yeah. is. He's hot. That's your number one draft pick. <laughs> I told you he had to have a big game today, and that's what he's doing. He's oh, showing up on a steal. and he comes up with oh. Oh, an attempted steal. Timeout by Someone Scott fell. Dawson. That's a slip to that's a good timeout. brought to you by Mott Law. Oh, my goodness. They call another timeout, and we're going to fit this one in here. One hop to shop. It is the official home of the Selling Nation League merchandise. Their first drop includes the official Season 5 CNL merch with hoodies, T-shirts, and long sleeves. Contact at Selling Nation League on Instagram to place your order today. And with that, I'm going to toss it to Ant. We talked about the Makos trying to get back on defense and prioritize oh goodness, transition, and uh, that kind of fell apart. Uh, some really big shot making, both from Juan and Yusuf. Yusuf frustrated on their bench. He's not getting the ball. You can see right now he's alienating himself from the team. He's he's sick. Okay. he's You're a sick fuck. That's what you are. We'll see uh, if the Makos can pull it together. Smart timeout from Kyle. Um, right now their momentum is all goblins. If the goblins can get another stop or two, they might be able to go up 10 here and potentially put the Makos away. So... Luki, he's going to have to use uh, some of his coaching here because it's going to come down to a battle of wits between him and Dean. We'll see what happens in the uh, remaining 11 and change. Oh, my goodness. Home of the just absolute craziest people, man. Like, I, every wow. week something surprises me. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need a reality hey, show, I'm, man. I'm every gonna, team I'm needs a say, camera crew. I'm going to say this right now. Juan is a platinum player. Brought to you by Chris Galco. Oh, yeah. That, 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 yeah, that, just him hitting back to back to back to Yusuf back. Yusuf out of the game. If you are the Goblins, you need to come out of this on like a 6-7-0 run. Oh, yeah. Here comes 1v1 God trying to keep the Makos in it. Instead, he misses. And now Brandon Steed has the ball. Always dangerous in his hands. He pulls up for a three. Oh, oh can't hit. 1v1 God. Taking it down court quick. Finds Q. Oh, wow. Oh. play by Dean. Dude, Dean is disrupting everything. He just jumped and threw his hands in the air. And <laughs> oh, my God. Look for Dean. Dude, his hustle is crazy. Oh, Juan, is he hot? Oh, he's my God. hot. Oh, my goodness. He is wow. your player. Chris Scalco. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, the man has scored 11 points in the last, what, two and a half minutes? <laughs> if you're not a fan of Selling Nation League, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, here comes 1v1 guy. That's all right, though. Hey, if you are the Goblins, you give the ball to one and you get out of the way right now. Give it a one again. Wow. That's all I can say about this game. You need to. I mean, look, look who's guarding one. You have to give the ball to him. Oh, oh man. Bad pass. It's a little too high. <laughs> that's yeah. That that's the quote of the day. <laughs> Brought to you by Yusuf. All right, there goes X. Q. You can hear Yusuf coaching the team from the sideline. Finds Bing Bong. That's his oh, coaching. Oh, there Gibson is. goes up with a that's good shot. Er, oh man, can't hit. Gotta get a rebound. Woo. You got to get a rebound. Oh, man, the rebounding is incredible by the Makos. But better defense by the Goblins. Oh! Another timeout. That's another timeout? Okay, yeah, you're right. I told you I jinxed it. It was my fault. It was my fault. And with that, we're going to go to the sideline reporting with Ant. Ant, what you got? Axel, I went from not seeing you at all to seeing you every 30 seconds. The Makos call their third timeout. Yusuf doesn't like the way the possession is. DZ got caught deep and didn't have really an outlet there. Um, if you're the Makos, you're basically training buckets with the Goblins, which you can't do because you're down seven with nine minutes left and you have no momentum. Goblins, those last two possessions, I didn't love. There's no need for Brandon C to take that shot there. Let's take some air out of the ball. Let's move it. We've got all the momentum. Let's play some half-court offense. They've shown no propensity to defend us here. Let's just relax. If you're the Makos... You're going to have to speed them up, cause some turnovers, get some extra possessions. 
Uh, and if you're Yusuf, you're going to have to come back and enclose this game because he's really been their most consistent offensive player when they found the ball. Um, but this is a Yusuf roller coaster. Is he going to end up helping or hurting them? We'll find out soon. It is a seven point game. The Goblins are up 56 49. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, all right. Last, what, let me give you a little recap of the last three yes, minutes. Yes, please. Juan scores 11 points in three minutes. <laughs> The Makos get eight offensive rebounds in three minutes and three timeouts called in three minutes. <laughs> so it's been a wow. little bit of a slow uh, second half to get here. I mean, I guess the second half of the second half. Oh. Uh, that makes sense? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we did jinx it. You did say it. I did. Yeah, it was my fault. Totally my fault. Uh, I, I just don't understand. If you're the Goblins, like, box out. Man. Box out and get a rebound. They, have, and get they have size. They have size. I, have, I don't know why they... They're forcing, like, look at that. Uh, dude, they're forcing them into shots. Do you want know I'm taking? Foddy goes up with yeah, it. Oh, can't hit. No foul call. No foul call. Yeah, you're oh, right. Oh. oh, Batman behind the back. Batman oh. passes it to Dean. Dean to Chief. Chief looks like he's going to take it in. Okay. Goes up, but that's, the foul's not nah, caught. That's not a, yeah, call. That's, ball. Yeah. that's a really good call there by Pat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yusuf's coaching style is just. <laughs> Funny, man. Oh, oh my God. and he drops it. Whoa. That's a slip and fall brought to you by Mont Law. And the finish of the day brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. They have to put that. They have to put two and one on the, on the shorts. Oh, here comes Juan. Can't hit. I thought that was going in, to be honest. Yeah. If you're the Goblins, you got to slow down for that. That's a little bit of a yep. heat checker there. It is. And it's only a five-point game with eight minutes left. Anything can happen in the Cellar Nation League, and we know that. Uh -oh. We've seen it before. Oh, we have. Fadi. Good pass. Too easy to get the ball. Can't really see much yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Mike, Mike, Mike is in the way, but I do see a steal. Good job by Juan. He goes up, and he gets a sweet finish of the day. That. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. He wanted to dunk that. Oh, he did, but. That's all right. Hey, he can, we know he can, so he doesn't have to. It's all right. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Goes up. Doesn't get the friendly bounce, but he puts out. it back in. Yeah, Dude, I mean, especially I, if the ball is just bouncing on the rim. Right, so the ball bounced on the rim. Out. Another timeout. Four timeouts yep. in five minutes. <laughs> With that, does anyone have timeouts left? Let's go to the grooming gallery. This is Orlando's premier barber shop where artistry meets grooming. Horace is a meticulous barber whose focus is on providing top-notch cuts and grooming services tailored to your style. Their brand new location in Hunters Creek is the perfect spot for your next haircut. So shoot them a DM at the grooming gallery to book an appointment today. And with that, we're tossing right, the We got a 58-53 ball game, 724 left. Uh, it's a five-point game for the Goblins. It, we've relatively stayed even here. Ryan, come here. Let's let's interview a ref. Ryan, it looks like you guys are letting them play. What are you seeing out there? I just see two teams competing, man, two teams that really want to win, uh, two of our better teams in this league. So I try not to get with the ticky-tack calls here and there, just let the flow of the game kind of play out and uh, hopefully have a good ending. Ryan's a polished ref. That was a professional answer. I would have been a lot meaner to both of them because they haven't called a timeout in the whole fucking half. At some point, somebody's got a coach. Yeah, great job, Ryan. You, you guys, uh, third game? Uh, yes, sir. Ghost Riders, very excited. Ryan, Ryan's my favorite player in the league to watch this season. Big Ghost Rider fan. You guys are my pick to win the championship, oh, assuming yeah. your whole team shows up. I'm very serious. So. Hey, Ghost Riders on three. Ghost Riders on three. One, two, three. Ghost, Ghost Riders. I got a Reaper jersey on, though, but don't, don't tell anybody. All right, and we're back. Five-point game. Goblins are up. Big Bird back in the game. Kyle Arts back in the game. Yusuf back in the game. Man. Zane Burke in the game. Zane, Zaddy. Oh, they call him Bean now. Bean. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we're going to call him Bean. Because he's going up with it. Oh, it doesn't get it. You got to get back. Now you got to get back on defense. Now you have yep. to box out. Oh, good defensive play. Good defense, Zane. There we go. Yeah, they disrupted, okay, they disrupted the three-point sure play. Like oh, that. you can't oh, leave Yusuf that wide open. Oh, Step God. back. Bad Yusuf. Oh, my goodness. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. <huh? laughs> Why are you jumping? On the, like, I... <laughs> <laughs> the Goblin's defense has been a business. It's starting to it's, crumble, it, yeah. It's, it's crumbling, man. I mean, you got to give it all. Oh, oh, another steal. Here comes Yusuf. Goes up. That's an automatic point. Can't that's finish. Oh, actually. what happened? Oh, yeah, that's goal, that's goaltending. Goal yeah, you can't shake the rim. Yeah, can't do that. And, oh, man. 
Yusuf is fast. Very fast. If you if you don't and he's like a ninja. He's like quiet. He just creeps no, he's up not, behind no, no, listen, you. Listen. He's not quiet. <laughs> Okay, he's not quiet. No one has ever described Yusuf as quiet, but you just did, so I'll, I'll allow it. I, 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 okay, never... maybe he's not. Maybe, maybe maybe he's not quiet when he speaks. But I'm talking about when he's coming yeah, yeah, in yeah, for yeah, the yeah, steal. For sure. You don't even hear him coming. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, it looks like Juan's out of the game. Must be hurt. I'm assuming this is not the lineup you want if you're the Goblins on the court. I'm telling you, this is a bad. Yeah, especially bad when it's tied. Oh there. my goodness! You gotta get. Yeah, Steed's coming back in the game. Yeah, Great. Yeah, Brandon Steed. Yeah. Another timeout. All of us. What are they doing right now? Are they? Oh, okay. They're, okay, they're going up with a whole new lineup now. Batman's it's like not coming out. There's seven on the court. Okay, Batman is coming out. You got Brandon Steed, Drake what, coming what, what, in, what, uh, Dean, the court. and Tyreek. They have six on the court. Oh, that's a foul. That's unfortunate, especially in a close game. There was just a miscommunication. Yeah, miscommunication. They're trying to come in with a whole new lineup. Oh, lineup. man. Yeah, I, listen, it's a tie game, man. Like, <laughs> why are we so stressed? Everyone's stressed out right now. It's a tie game. Oh, not man. really, not for long, because Kyle Arts is a... Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> this is just a ridiculous... I mean, the last seven minutes of this game weren't even real. I, Oh yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting it's for the hands up to come up from Dean. Yeah, it's happened a lot. Like last 30 seconds happened three times. Yeah, that's too easy. Oh, too easy. Oh man. And they take the lead. Wow. Mako's oh, doing a really good job court. of playing oh, defense in the second Ooh. half. Whew. Okay. Oh, they did not call back. Yeah, yeah they got lucky yeah. with that one. Good pass to Tyreek. Tyreek takes it up and gets the foul. That was a smart idea. They're playing hard, physical defense. It was a good look for Tyreek to go up for that one. Yeah, I'm looking Create for a foul. Looking for an update on one. I'm oh. <laughs> okay, Yusuf's yelling in um, Arabic, I think. Is that Arabic? Oh, he's. Hey, if he speaks Arabic, that, that part means he's channeling some inner well, power. Well, he about pretends to, to spit on the floor, now. then yells something. Yeah, I noticed that. He spits on the floor. Well, he doesn't time. actually spit. It's a, it's a, um, oh, it's a, fake it's a metaphorical spit. No, I, no, I've seen him spit on the ground. Don't lie to me. Oh, I saw him actually spit on the ground? Yeah, I saw oh, him. Okay. Well, in season four, he prayed on the ground before he hit the game-winning free throws of the championship game. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Shot dog wow. hits a three with a hand in his face. <laughs> Mako's really coming alive here. I they, love it. They are. I love it. So I like this team. Wow. Now, the two likable teams. Wow. It, 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 it was a tale of two halves. Foul. Yeah, that's a foul. Someone fouled him. Yeah, man, it's been a tale of two halves in the, in the beginning. It's been a tale. You could, you could split the halves into half. Literally. And we'll say the, the fourth quarter of this game has been interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Juan back in the game. You need to get him involved in the offense. Yes, they need to yes. call timeout. Okay. He, he needs to hit those three threes in a row again. Drazen, you have time. You have three minutes. You're down five. Like, let's not get too crazy here. Yeah, it's not, it, the ball. It, yeah. That's a good he shot. He takes a shot. Can't hit. Gets his own rebound. Oh, Pass wow. it to Chief. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Yep. Yep, it's gonna be Goblin's ball. The Makos are saying that it hit his leg. Oh, give him the ball, Pat. Here we go. Start the game. Someone, someone's open. What are they doing here? All right, the refs are trying to talk this through and make sure that it was a good call. What did you see? It was too fast for yeah, me to see. Yeah, the clock is running. To, to me, I think it's out on Makos. Yeah. Well, Dre. Got Dre, oh, what gets it stolen by yeah, Foddy. That's, he's trying to pass that. I don't know why. Yusuf goes up. No good. Can't hit. Got to have a rebound, man. There's Dre. Dre takes his time. And he hits a three. Dangerous Dre. Right. Puts him back in it. Down two. Two minutes. Two minute drill. Here we go. Oh, you're right. Oh, man. Here comes wow. 1v1 God with a difficult finish. That's the sweet finish of the day. Brought to you by Ash's Bake Shop. Why? Here's my question. Why is Dean not in the game? 
That's what I'm saying. Dean, he's, he's another three-point yeah, shooter for man. you guys. He knocked down how many oh, shots? Oh, nice floater from Juan, but he can't get it. You have a minute and a half. They got to get back and play defense now. Oh, yeah. Yusuf wants to shoot. Yusuf wants to run the clock down, it seems like. Uh, running back and forth. Man, dude, Chief does a good, good job of locking him down. You can That's a good do something, And they just run the clock out. Last minute and 20 seconds. What is That's five. That's five. That's five. The ball, they give it back to the goblins. Dean's calling a timeout, and it looks like they're not listening to him, and they're saying that it's the goblins. Okay, they finally get a timeout. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my lord. 115 left in the game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Wow. We buy houses and mobile homes. Any type, any condition. No equity, no problem. We work fast, use cash, and there's no nonsense. Up to $1,000 if you refer a home that goes to closing to speak to Josiah Kenyon. Give him a call at 407 735 6228. And with that, we're going to our sideline report. With the tides have turned. Mako's up four with 1.15 to go. Uh, Goblins have two remaining timeouts. The Mako's have one. Goblins squandered their momentum by turning the ball over and taking quick pull-up jump shots. The Mako's had a chance to ice it. Yusuf decided to go one on three. Didn't get a foul call. They end up turning the ball over here. Goblins have to score in this possession. I don't think they're in a position where they need a foul yet just because this team will turn it over. But I think they're going to have to press them a little bit to try to speed them up and see what happens. Either way, it's going to be an exciting finish. If you're the Goblins and you lose this game, you're going to be mad at yourself because this is another one you had full control over. All right, and we're back. Dean's still not in the game. Dean's still not in the game. Uh, Dean knocks down, like, what, 3 4 three <laughs> this game. Not in the game with a minute and a half. So Dean's not in the game. Uh, Mako's are up by six points, four, and there's only points. been four oh, points. four points. Yeah. Bad. I can't do math. math math's hard. Yeah, I get yeah, it. Math, yeah. <laughs> And there's only been seven fouls this whole game. Oh, Brandon C takes the three. Oh, bounces in and out. That was a good shot. It was. What's the call? What's the call on this? Technical on one. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, tech on one. I guess there was a push off. Shot Dog misses that one. I'm trying to process what, what's happened in the past like 15 minutes, to be honest with you. This game has had a lot of highs, a lot of lows, yeah, a lot of. This is a lot of a lot of a lot. A lot man. of a lot. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with it all, but Chief gets a foul. So instead of fouling, right, go for the steal first. If you're going to foul him, go for the steal. Yeah. That's what you should be telling him, Dean. You need to go for the steal, not just fouling for no purpose. Go for the steal. Yeah, because there's still time left on the clock. Left. Go, see, that's what's so stupid. If they would have went for the steal there go and the got steal, it, they man. have an extra possession. Go yeah. for the steal. Box out! Box out! You have, that's what you've been saying all game. Box but if out. you go for the steal and you mm -hmm. foul them, then they go for free throws. But if you get the steal and they don't call it, then you have a wide open lane. It's, yeah. just, it's not smart. Yeah. Exactly. And you leave time left on your clock yeah, for you guys to come like, back. You gotta, yeah. gotta be smarter than that. One one right now. now, if he misses this, then you look pretty good. But Yeah, but if he makes it... Then it's a five-point game. Yeah. All right, and it. Go. fortunately, go it, go. for the go. Goblins, they missed him. No time he got wait. poked in the eye. Looks like he's looking for his team. Oh, man, Brandon Steed pushing the ball up. She was trying to hit that three. Uh oh, Juan takes the three point shot. Oh, wow. Can't hit. Too. Oh, man. Same there team. Go. That was online. Good shot. No. I still wish Dean was in the game. This, it, honestly, it was it was after it seemed like Juan got hurt that he really started to fall off. Yeah. And I, I, I think I can confidently say that it was an injury that happened or something that threw him off his game because before this half, he was hot. He was coming, he was coming out shooting threes like crazy. Pretty much. So I don't know what it was, but I think it threw him off his yeah. game just a little bit. But I mean, you're still, I mean, you're still in the game. 33 seconds down four. Still have time. You just got to be really quick now. You can't do this dribbling. That you have to shoot the ball. Yeah, down, yeah, down four. You just got to go up with it. Yeah, shoot it. Okay. Right, now it's a five-point five point game. game. Still not, still, still not the end of the world. Of it. If they make this, it's gonna make it just a little bit harder. Yeah, a little bit harder. Even if he does make it, you come out and knock down a quick three, you're down three. So, I mean. That's true. I've seen it done before. There's a miss. Got a rebound, though. Got a oh, rebound. Got a rebound. Got a rebound, man. That that one's, yep. 
That one is tough on the goggles. Yeah, they got a rebound, man. It's tough. I mean, I thought it said a pretty good line. Goblins had it, man. They did. It looked like one really kind of got hurt. I guess, like you said earlier, like it looked like he got hurt. I think so. I think so. But that was a very impressive burst of uh, scoring, huh? It was. Very it's, few people are capable of that. It really was, and it seemed like they were going to go. It, it was like oh, nowhere. by Bird. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big Bird. Big Bird. Job, putting in some. Oh, oh, yeah. The Goblins were playing with a lot wow. of uh, heart right there, but it's just. Oh, jump ball. Yep. That's, That's a good defense. play. That's, That's what you want to do, yeah. right? Yeah. Force that. We'll put Big Bird on the ball here. Get his hands active. I like that. Maybe. Hopefully. See if they do it. No, no one on the ball. That's interesting. Okay. Good foul. Yep. Yeah. Now you're just playing the foul game, right? I mean, I just unfortunately, you. you have to knock down shots. <laughs> Get this foul. <laughs> Someone's got to make a three. Yeah. And I, I really wish. Someone's got to make a couple threes. I really wish those last, like, three or four minutes that Dean was in the game because they needed that other person that was hanging out outside the corner or by the um, elbow mm -hmm. to knock down a three. Because everyone was drawing all the attention to Juan, right? So anytime Juan got the ball, someone was going to be wide open. That could have been Dean, and Dean had a really good shooting game. I would have loved for him to be in the game there. I think, yeah, I think they failed to see that the two hot players on the team could have been out there to yeah. definitely bring them back in it. Or if anything, extend the lead that they already had. Oh man, yeah, that's the, the that's rebound. It, it all came down to the rebound again yeah, with the Makos. They tall. did a good job of just getting the ball, no foul, making plays. Oh man, Yusuf. wide open for a three. Meaningless. Three. That's the brick of the day. Brought to you by Zane, the realtor. Or wait, no, it was yeah, brick, right. yeah, brick, yeah, you're right. Brick of the day. Uh, yeah, I was right. I was right. Yeah, yeah, you're good. <coughs> Excuse me. No, you're good. But um, yeah, no. Can't wait to see the rebounding stats in this game, man. Um, it should be heavily favored to the uh, Mankos, for sure. Foddy in the game, yeah. Foddy getting his last seven seconds of action here. <laughs> okay, what, what is happening here, man? What was see, that? And this is just disrespectful <laughs> basketball, dude. Like, just run the clock out, man. Run the clock out. Like, why are we doing this? <laughs> Watch, Dean's gonna make this. What the? F Why? Why? And he gets a foul. Why? What are and we doing? he makes it, but that's not gonna count. Let's go. Go ahead. Ball. What is that? That's just oh a, my god, man! Yeah, it's so stupid. <laughs> It's like, just finish the game. Yeah, they just want. Yeah, Remember how we talked about no nonsense? Right, this is right. nonsense. Come on, Kyle! Oh, oh man. Big Bird. Hey. All hey. right. The Makos take it, improving to five and two, and the Goblins drop to four and three. That was a great game to start week seven in the season five of the Southern Nation League. Thank you for joining me and Money Mitch. Can't wait for game two. Thanks, brother. Thank you. Captain Luke Finelli, what was your guys' strategy today, and what did you think of your team's performance? Um, overall, the ball movement was so much better than this game than most. Um, our defense was absolutely dog water. It was terrible. My literal game plan was stay home on the three-point line. We didn't do that, naturally. Um, so I feel like going forward, I need to say exactly what I don't want to happen, and I feel like the opposite will happen. So maybe instead of barely winning games, we'll like actually win these games by how much we should be. Um, but other than that, I'm really happy with my team. Everyone played really well today. One through, ni yeah, one through nine, all of our guys were here today, and everyone had a huge impact. Very happy with them. Big win for the Makos. They keep pace with La Familia. Still had a chance at the one seed in whatever conference they're in. Who do you guys play next week? It's back to division play, right? Back to division play. Um, I know we play La Familia last, so we either play Ghost Riders or Magicians next week. Either way, big game for them. Luke, congratulations, and we'll see you next week. Hell yeah. Zane the Realtor. Zaney, so... Ever since the comparison was made between the Goblins and the Red Rangers, the Goblins are 0-3. Talk to me. Why are you guys the last three in a row now? What's going on? I mean, our guys are playing really well. You know, we got some things to clean up. We can box out a little better. We can play a little better defense. You could call a timeout here and there. We could do that. We could call T.O. here and there. But we just got to come with a little bit more energy, you know, higher energy, not get too down on ourselves after a loss. So, We'll be all right, bro. It's a long season, 10-game season. It is 10 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be games. fine, man. No Ranger curse, though. No Ranger curse. No, there is no Ranger curse. I want you guys to win. I, I think they're actually – that was my pick to win it all, but I think you guys are going to be there too. All right, Zaney, thank you. Big Bird, 
Your first game back in a while. How do you feel, buddy? I played awful. You did? Yeah. Going back, back to back weddings. Only beer. But sweat and beer. You know what I'm saying? Got to get you to kibble and bits, my friend. Yeah, I had some oatmeal, some maple brown sugar oatmeal. It didn't work. How, did you like that game? I thought you guys blew that game. Oh, 100%. You had momentum and then decided to not call a timeout or settle yourselves. You saw, yeah. I, I, I got 50, though. You did. You, you played great. Very I, proud of you. Got, Very proud of you, Bird. Very, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Big Bird. Okay, we're signing out from game one for uh, week seven of the Sully Nation League season five.